So in this next example, um, rather than finding the LCD, well, we still want to find the LCD. We can still figure out that this is n minus 1 times n plus 1. So what we're going to do in this example is just get everything to have the common denominator. So to get this to be the common denominator, I need to multiply by n plus 1 over n plus 1. Here, I need to multiply by n minus 1 times n minus 1. So therefore, I have n minus 1 over my common denominator, which is n squared minus 1, plus n plus 1 over n squared minus 1 equals 2 over n squared minus 1. And now you guys see that all of these terms have the common denominator. If I multiply by the common denominator, I would just be left with n minus 1 plus n plus 1 equals 2. Okay, So you're going to obtain the same result as the same process I did before. I would have just multiplied by the LCD, and you still would have got the exact same answer. Okay, Just show, you know, like, I mean, either way works. But in this case, I get 2n. Two n equals two, divide by two, divide by two, n is equal to one. That is my solution to my simplified equation. When I plug one back into my equation, it doesn't work. You get a zero. Right? It's a solution to this equation, but it's not a solution to my original equation. Therefore, it is extraneous. So extraneous solution is not a solution to the original equation. That's the definition that's written on the board that you'll want to make sure you have.